before the cheap Jeep, it's just getting an oil change, don't worry. There was the really cheap WJ. Welcome back to the Yeller Fab YouTube channel where today we are going to part out the WJ. A couple years ago after we finished the axle swap in my JKU and I didn't want to daily drive that anymore and put all the miles on it, we bought this 2000 Jeep Grand Cherokee for me to daily drive. It was super cheap. I think we spent like $700 on it and we figured the 4.0 drivetrain is pretty bulletproof. It's relatively low miles. We thought we could fix it up just enough, you know, from rust, of course, to just make it a good enough of a vehicle for me to drive to work. But upon putting it on the lift and evaluating, we realized the rust was really bad and it probably wasn't going to be worth putting money into. So it's kind of been a lawn ornament ever since. And today we are going to pull the drivetrain, probably part out what we can and scrap the rust. Before we parked it, it was running and driving great. It was just the rust that was the problem. So we're going to get it running real quick and so we can pull the motor and sell it on Marketplace. The shop is all nice and clean and ready for this project. Nick decided he wants to connect just at least one of the drive shafts and then we'll start it up and just try and drive it into the barn and its own power. And never mind, the drive shaft won't even come close to fitting. It's not worth dealing with right now. Well, scratch that idea. Can't get the drive shafts connected, so we're gonna tow strap it. Today we'll be using the speed strap weavable recovery strap. An old JK battery here to jump start it, but the cables don't line up right, so we have to use jumper cables. And now Nick is climbing in to get it started. Let's see, she hasn't started in at least a year, if not longer, so the old 4.0. What a champ. Probably one of the best motors ever made. So he's coming up here to give me a little push. So next, we're gonna drain all the fluids out. Pull the hood off as much of the front clip as I can. Just make it easy for my pulling this whole drivetrain out. I just would like to try and one piece it. So we'll see. 
No, nope. I really don't want to have to slap the transfer case off, but that might have to happen. We'll, we'll see, see when we get there. We'll see. But fluids, hood, radiator, all the anything in front of the motor so that can make my up. life easier. Yeah. Cool. Let's go. Somebody before me had already let it discharge. I'm sure it didn't work when I got it. I didn't remember if it did or not, but I just checked and there's no pressure in this, so. Yeah, nothing. So, EPA, mind your business. We are not losing any Freon in this experience. <laughs> yes, dispose of it correctly. Please be environmentally responsible if you do have to remove Freon from your vehicle. There we go. Big mess! We can make a big mess! <laughs> He's taking off the wiring harness here, so we labeled every plug that we could just to make it easier for the person who ends up buying this motor from us. This is why we opted to not save this Jeep. The whole entire unibody is gone back here. It's just as bad on the other side. The inside doesn't look nearly as bad, but the outside of it is ugly. Yeah, so we opted to not put our money into this uh, and fix so it. Time. time. It was really good. The time was what was my biggest. I just couldn't justify it. Although whoever made this exhaust did a really nice job. You made the exhaust. <laughs> And yes, it is raining. That's you may hear that in the background of this video. It's loud in our barn. Steel roof. You good? Yeah, you can you good. You know however you need to, I can meet you. Yeah. 
snake this thing. Yeah, I know. That's why I'm kind of tempted. Because I felt like I needed to take it this way to get back to the corn. It's exhaust. Just like that, that easy. So I think there was really actually probably only like five different sizes you need in like 10, 13, 15, stuff. super easy. I think we have a friend that wants to buy the 4.0 off of us. Uh, we were gonna sell it as a whole drive train. And then we have somebody else who may just be buying the whole rolling chassis here. So which case, great. That just gets rid of it quickly. From my life. <laughs> No more yard ornament. Nope. Well, anyways, thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and